Next topic, domestic arbitration. In general, arbitration is domestic if conducted in the Philippines. Specifically, arbitration is domestic if the components of parties' places of business, place of arbitration, place of performance of substantial part of the obligation, and place where the subject matter of the dispute is most closely connected are all located in the Republic. The Alternative Dispute Resolution Act of 2004 devoted only two sections to uh, domestic arbitration, namely Section 32, which distinguishes domestic arbitration from international arbitration and declared that the arbitration law or the RA or Public Act 876 remains to be applicable to domestic arbitration and Section 33, which adopted certain provisions of the Model Law and the Alternative Dispute Resolution Act on International Commercial Arbitration to Domestic Arbitration. Unlike the provisions of the Alternative Dispute Resolution Act on International Commercial Arbitration and the rules corresponding thereto, which cover only disputes arising from relationships of commercial nature, the provisions and rules on domestic arbit arbitration cover both commercial or commercial means uh, settling disputes by repairing them to a neutral person or an arbitrator selected by the parties for a decision based on the evidence and arguments presented to arbitration tribunal. And the non-commercial disputes provided they are susceptible of arbitration and do not fall within the exclusive original arbitration jurisdiction of the quasi-judicial agencies. The parties to a domestic arbitration, like in the case of international commercial arbitration, are entitled to be treated equally and with due process. On due process in case involving domestic arbitral proceeding, the Supreme Court held that the well-settled rule is that administrative agencies exercising quasi-judicial powers shall not be uh, confined with the rigid technicalities or a point of law or a small detail or set of rules of procedure. Although, okay, there are procedures that need to be uh, implemented okay, at all times. So, to adhere to the basic concept of fair play, it means that uh, its main focus is to respect for the rules or equal treatment of all uh, people concerned. Submission of a position papers may be sufficient as long as the parties are given the opportunity to be heard. If we say uh, position paper, okay, we are referring to arguable opinion about an issue and it is used to explain the uh, opinion presented is valid and worth listening to. In administrative proceedings, the essence of due process is simply an opportunity to seek uh, for a reconsideration or review of the action or ruling complained of. This constitutional mandate is deemed satisfied if a person is granted an opportunity to seek reconsideration or review of an action of ruling. Take note that it does not require trial type of proceedings but similar to those in courts of justice. Take note that the place of domestic arbitration is to be determined by the parties. If there is no such agreement, then the arbitration shall be conducted in Metro Manila unless the arbitral tribunal shall decide on different place taking into account the consequences or 
circumstances of the case and the convenience of the parties. The rule in the determination of the language that will be used in the arbitration proceeding is the same for domestic and international commercial arbitration, including the prerogative of the arbitral tribunal to require a translation of a documentary evidence if not in the official language, except that Filipino is added to English as a default or a default language in domestic arbitration. The arbitration proceedings, records, evidence, and other confidential information are privileged and shall not be published except with the consent of the parties or for the limited purpose of disclosing to the court relevant documents where resort to the court is allowed. The general rule on receipt of communications in international commercial arbitration as well as domestic arbitration is that provided for by the parties in their arbitration agreement. In the absence of such an agreement, take note that written communications among the parties and the arbitrators shall be delivered personally by a registered mail or courier service and shall be deemed to be uh, received on the date it is delivered, okay, the addresses, address of record, place of business, resident, or last known address. The use of electronic mail, facsimile transmission, or other uh, electronic means is permitted as long as there is a record of the sending and receipt of the communication at the recipient's mailbox and such electronic communication shall be deemed to have been received on the same date of its uh, transmittal. The concept of waiver of right to object can be defined with respect to a party that proceeds with the arbitration without raising an objection even after knowing that a requirement under the agreement has not been complied with. So this apply uh, with uh, domestic arbitration as with the international commercial arbitration. A party may be stopped or may be prevented from uh, questioning non-compliance or is deemed to have uh, waived his objection if he fails to raise the ob objection without delay or within the time prescribed, uh, particularly 30 days, okay, provided that he knows of such non-compliance. So the act, omission or silence giving rise, okay, particularly to waive or uh, estopel, Estupel means uh, preventing uh, somebody to question. Okay, be clear and intentional. No court shall interfere except in the instances allowed by the Arbitration Law, Alternative Dispute Resolution Act, and Special Alternative Dispute Resolution Rules. Pursuant to implementing rules and regulation among these instances are when 30 days having elapsed from receipt of the request for arbitration, the appointing authority fails to perform functions imposed under Article 5, Section 10, Paragraph C and D, Article 5, Section 11, Paragraph A, and Article 5, Section 13, in which Cases the applicant may apply with courts for the same relief. Interim measures may also be requested or enforced through the courts as a fundamental point the pendency or if the arbitral proceeding is not yet decided, it does not exclude possibility to the courts for provisional relief. 
the rule of international court of arbitration which governs the party's arbitral dispute allows the application of a party to a judicial authority for interim or conservatory measures. Other term for this is interim remedies, precautionary measures, or uh, provisional relief. The International Court of Arbitrations or Arbitration are used all around the world to resolve disputes. They define and regulate the management of cases submitted to the internal or international court of arbitration. These rules assure okay, both parties of a neutral framework for the resolution of cross-border disputes. So under Section 14 of Republic Act 876 or the arbitration law, it recognizes the rights of any party to petition the court or to take measures to safeguard or okay, conserve any matter which is the subject of the dispute in arbitration. In addition, Republic Act 9285, known as the Alternative Dispute Resolution Act of 2004, allows the filing of provisional or interim measures with the courts whenever the arbitral tribunal has no power to act. If the arbitral tribunal in the exercise of its authority to resolve or submit the resolution of the preliminary issue, its jurisdiction over the arbitration agreement decides to defer the resolution until the execution of the arbitral award. None of the parties can seek judicial relief from the deferment. Motion for reconsideration, appeals, and petition for certiorari are not available to challenge the decision of the arbitral tribunal to defer the resolution of the preliminary jurisdictional issues. To justify the vacation of an arbitral award on account of manifest disregard of law, the arbiter's findings must clearly and unequivocally violate an established legal precedent. So anything less would suffice. The same rule on the representation in international commercial arbitration obtains in domestic arbitration. A party may represent himself or be represented or assisted by any person of his choice provided that such representative unless admitted to the practice of law in the Republic shall not be authorized to appear as counsel in any Republic court or quasi-judicial body. An agreement to arbitrate is a contract and as such, the arbitration agreement must satisfy the essential requisites of a valid contract. Similar with mediation and international commercial arbitration, the consent to arbitrate can either be pre-casual consent or agreement to submit to arbitration when the parties agree in contract to settle by arbitration a controversy that will arise between them or present casual consent or the submission agreement when the controversy already exists between the parties at the same time or at the time of the submission to arbitration. The submission and contract shall be valid, enforceable, in irrevocable except upon grounds provided by law. For the revocation of contracts, an arbitration agreement must be in writing and subscribed by the party sought to be charged or by his lawful agents. A court before which an action is brought on a matter 
which is the subject of an arbitration agreement shall, if at least one party requests not later than the pretrial conference or upon the request of both parties, refer to arbitration unless it finds that the arbitration agreement is null and void, inoperative or incapable of being performed. If the parties request in the same manner, the court may stay the proceedings during dependency of the arbitration. In such case, the court does not lose its jurisdiction over the case and the proceedings are merely stayed to await the rendition or execution of the arbitral award, which shall be enforced by the court and when the court okay, action is multi-party and one or more but not all of them are parties to an arbitration agreement the court shall refer those who are parties to the arbitration agreement to arbitration and proceed with the court action as to those who are not bound by such arbitration agreement except for the reference to united nation commission on international trade law arbitration rules which provides a comprehensive set of procedural rules upon which parties may agree for the conduct of arbitral proceedings arising out of their commercial relationship and are widely used in ad hoc arbitrations if we say uh, ad hoc arbitration it is any arbitration in which the parties have not selected an institution to administer the uh, arbitration the determination of the applicable rules of procedure is the same for domestic arbitration and international commer commercial arbitration the parties are free to agree on the applicable rules of procedure in the absence of which the arbitral tribunal may conduct the arbitration in the manner it considers appropriate. In general, the start of arbitral proceeding is determined by the prior arbitration agreement between the parties. Up to the extent there is similarity between uh, international commercial arbitration and domestic arbitration on the commencement of arbitral proceedings. The following are the specific rules for the commencement of domestic arbitration. 1. In an institutional arbitration where there is no prior arbitration agreement, it is commenced in accordance with the arbitration rules of the institutional arbitrator. Number two, in an ad hoc arbitration where there is a prior arbitration agreement, it is commenced upon the delivery by the claimant to the respondent of a demand for arbitration. The demand for arbitration shall be in any form and shall state the name addresses and description of the nature and circumstances of the dispute giving rise to the claim the relief suit including the amount of the claim the relevant agreements including the arbitration agreement and a copy of which shall be attached where there is no prior agreement it is initiated by one party through a demand upon the other to submit their dispute to arbitration and arbitration is deemed commenced upon the agreement by the other party to submit the dispute to arbitration. The demand shall also require the respondent to name his arbitrator within a period which shall not less than 15 days from the receipt of the demand. The default rule in the case of international commercial arbitration is that it is commenced on the date on which a request for the dispute to be referred to arbitration is received by the respondent. 
while for domestic arbitration where there is no prior agreement is reckoned from the date when the other party agreed to submit the dispute to arbitration. Thank you so much for watching and watch out for the second part of this video.